What it do YouTube, it's your boy Tyler Rose back again And I got an update for y'all on the Go app So as you know before, I actually already did a review on the Go app And my experience was pretty good with the app, I had no complaints at all However, Go did lose my package You don't believe me? I'll show you the emails, let's get into it if you can take a look at the screen now, you can see my order confirmation. The total was $385. I ordered the Pharrell Human Races. This is actually the new, uh, the pale new, this was actually the pale new colorway that I ordered. Um, you can see everything's here, man. I got my tracking information. I did uh, blurred out my address, of course. You see the date, 1216, the tracking number, you know, size 13, etc., etc. You see, you know, just a regular order confirmation. Now, let's get into the email. So, as you can see, this is from GOAT itself. We got the info at GOAT.com. However, my girlfriend did order these shoes for me. I didn't order them directly. However, it's still my experience with the GOAT app. So, if you look at the date, it says Wednesday, January 23rd. Remind you, I just showed you the date and I believe it was December 16th. So, we're just now getting the information that my sneakers are on the way. Got the tracking number and all the information. January 23rd. When I ordered the shoes, December 16th. So, it took over a month and like a week or so to ship the shoes. But wait, there's more. Okay, so as you've seen, I showed you January 23rd, they sent an email saying the shoes are now being shipped, as y'all seen previously. So this little backtrack, January 23rd is when we got that information. Now, let's fast forward time to January 29th. So this is the email here. Uh, as you see, help at goat.com. This is not a fluke. This is all real. We're not trying to bash uh, goat, the goat app at all, neither here. But uh, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. As you see, my girlfriend, who was the lovely, lovely woman who ordered me some nice shoes for Christmas, uh, she went ahead and she emailed the company. Good afternoon. I was wondering when my order will arrive. Each time I click on a tracking number, uh, provides its states not trackable. So, here we go. It's not trackable. Okay. So we get customer support. Hi, Cynthia. Thank you for contacting GOAT. I have escalated this ticket and a member of our team will follow up with you. You should receive an update 48 hours, yada, yada, yada. So, so February 4th, we have not received any response back. So now we're, you know, now my girlfriend's reaching back out to them. So now we're reaching back out to them. Hello, no one has followed up. It's been almost two months now and the tracking number isn't working. So January, <clears throat> excuse me. So January 23rd, we was told the shoes were shipping, tracking number hasn't working. Now it's February 4th, still no tracking number. Now, we finally get support back from Julio. Hey, thank you so much for your patience. We appreciate you following up with us. After conducting the investigation, it has been determined that your shoes have been lost with the courier. We have initiated your refund at this time. Please allow two to three business days for the refund to show on your bank account. We thank you for being yada yada yada. What up, bro? Where's my shoes, man? I mean, damn, man, you had me from December 16th. And by the way, Julio responded to customer service. He responded on February 7th. So that goes from December 16th to February 7th. That's how long it took for me to find out my shoes were lost. I mean, come on, man. Go gotta do a little bit better than that, man. You know what I'm saying? Gotta do better than that, man. Come on, man. Where my shoes at, man? Now, however, the refund did come quick. Um, you know, the refund did come quick according to, uh, you know, my girlfriend. We had, I ended up getting something different. However, um, I didn't order anything from Gold. I, I just ended up, you know, using the money for something else. It was a Christmas gift. But, you know, just, just in general, this was the last time I used the Go app. I just looked at it as, a, a, I, don't know, I don't know if it was reliable. It just, it just seemed like it didn't make any sense. It took so long for, the, for them to reach back out to me. We waited so long. Um, the first, my first, I said my first experience was was amazing. I had no complaints. However, the second experience is not the bad taste in my mouth. Pause, and um, you know, I just like, uh, you know, I'm 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 all set. I just didn't want to work with the app again. And this video is in no shape or way or form trying to bash the Go app. If you want to use the Go app, 
Um, you can say that I did a review on it. It had a good experience. I'm just sharing with you my experience based off what I just showed you. I showed you the emails. Everything's legit. And, um, you know, I just want to make this video for people out there, you know, who are, you know, skeptical about it. You know, there's, there's goods and there's bads. There's pros and cons with everything. So, this is this is why I no longer use the Go app. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like I said, it's your boy Tyler Rose. Man, please subscribe to my channel for more content. I got more stuff on the way. I appreciate all the viewers, all the support out there. So make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe, man. All right, I'm out. Peace.